How's it going? Good and you? All right, so here is the shrimp slash crayfish tank slash there's also two um, scarlet gem bodies in there. As you can see, I have one, two, three crayfish. Um, yes, I am just leaving the algae alone and letting them eat it. Yes, it is hair algae. Like I said, I'm just leaving them alone and letting them eat it. Because, well, they're crayfish and shrimp and they'll do that. Um, I do have some decent plants in here. Uh, some hygrophilia. Um, some dwarf hair grass. I'm just keeping going here for the moment. I don't think it's going to really plow into the substrate here. You really need sand for it. And some java, or not java, some... Um, Jungle Vow. Sorry. There we go. And also some, um, I don't remember what that one was actually. Uh, Japanese Pennywort, actually. There we go. Got that in there floating for now. I don't know if I'm going to tap this or not. I think I might just leave it as a uh, substrate here. You big and bad? Oh, you big and bad today? Yeah? You big and bad today? That one's kind of the runt of them all. Regrowing claws here, because, well, this one decided it wanted to eat it. It got away, obviously. Which is why I re aquascaped this from the original way that I had it. I didn't show you all that because I was still trying to get it. Now, situated, but it's regrown. There's one of the uh, Scarlet Gem bodies that I have in there. Orange Bravos. And somewhere in there is another Scarlet Gem body so I thought was a female, but it turns out it's just a, you know, undersized male. Or an unmature male, however you want to call it. Um, yeah, there's plenty of little hiding spots in there for everything now. We've got some shrimp in there. I'm not sure where they're at right now. Um, they also might have gotten eaten. I don't know. It's kind of a uh, natural state in there, you know? I let them do their thing. But and that's all. I gotta get started on some other projects that you'll hear about in a different video. Um, so yeah, have a good one.